Good morning. Today we're going to solar pop-up gallery, having the electricity flow through my hand with this device gives me the illusion of strength. So let's continue this illusion and um, try to put the blood through the pain. Just let it flow. It's Okay, there's the check. I represent Sussex County Avant Garde. My name is Christopher Donahue. I have aliases and creative monikers. I make art in various forms. I'm looking through what's needed to be taken. Oh, I see I brought blank things. Gonna put it in. I think I'd rather walk. I don't ride my bike. Family, but kicking ass here. No opportunity to. Do something. Stupid with depression. Send love to the depression. What is it doing? Why? if it was just this on my phone. It was. it was the phone. It was part of it. And there's another part somewhere. There it is. many 
things to do. I don't live in New Jersey. I'm an alien here. Good times, hate Jesus, kill people, oh, love, love to all the words from which we have. Good times. I've gotten probably the most overweight I've ever been at the same time. Very fucking good. Maybe I just don't do any. Is my intention to sell shit? No. My intention is to go and help out Pete. Sell shit. And uh, get to work on the craft. You hear my stomach it's moving around some. It's getting ready. Do its thing. I have to do some, some serious stuff. Where to put that? I don't know. Watching Ice Poseidon stream. Uh, going into places. Lying to people. It's how you get more people to to do these things and at the same time protecting yourself. Oh protecting yourself. Thanks. 
think I'm going out of my mind. So I think I'm going out of my mind. Cause I think I'm going out of my mind. Belly. Oh, where's the coat? Let's see. Let's see if you can find it. I'll look for you. Oh. Just leave it. I'll leave it. take much. Wrapped now. Oh, should I wear the clogs or the snoopers? I'm taking this on the sneakers. Oh, what's good about YouTube is that I can see the time, but I can't see what time it is. Maybe if I do this. I saw a time, but what it did was it 
stop the stream. It's, a, it's an improper way to get it done, though. In an improper way. Light the fire. We light the fire. We're lighting that fire. We light the fire. Because of you. Somebody's watching? Is this true? Well, I don't think so. Nobody watches this YouTube account. That's what gives me the relief. Going to Pop Art. Going to Rock It Out. Hey, what's up? Some say somebody's actually communicating with me. Holy crap! Hello, EK. Your, your thing popped off the screen, so I only have a short time to see it. What's up? And I hope you're doing well. Um, and I'm wondering where you live. I'm about to, what's your name, dude? I have a lot of them. Uh, let's go with the handle of Sussex County Avant-Garde. There's also, uh, yeah, it's a very positive name. And then there's a joke with a question mark. Uh, questioning our own reality. And then there's a legal name. Of course. Yeah. So I don't know you then personally. Because I only use this uh, these accounts as like basically storage devices. But I do love experimenting with different mediums. And streaming, I think, is... I'm pushing that, too. I'm pushing that in my own way. You know? Shit name. Yeah, I got a lot of names. Shit is, uh, I remember saying to my one friend, uh, yeah, my name's Joke. He's like, what about what we call you shit? So I like, well, I made a philosophy of shit, of like, all matter is shit. And it's just, uh, there's a us and a them to throw it out. I'll call you Sky. Yeah, yeah, totally, dude. Yeah. And there's us that sort it, and then them and just throw it out, and we're not us from any kind of union, but they just threw us out too. But that's a whole kind of that was uh, deprogramming myself from suicide, and um, after 
I'll ride my bike across the country. And uh, I like, um, I've expanded from that. I'm 40 years old. Yeah. Never thought I'd live so long. Where do you live, hey? I'll call you E. It's like, <laughs> it's like E Bay Key, but it's, I only have a certain time to look at it. It's, it's a uh, weird with, uh, you know, strengths and weaknesses. Um, where my one friend is, uh, 40. That's old. <laughs> well, it's just my process. I hope to, I hope that you have a, a good process of, of, I guess that you are below the age of 40. And, uh, my one friend, he's like 65. Other friend, he, um, you probably don't know John Zorn cause he's pretty old. He's my favorite composer. And, uh, he helped put together his nonprofit. I work with a nonprofit and uh, allows the creativity. So what's up, dude? So we're gonna go and walk to Soul Art Pop Up Gallery, and we're going to be selling the things there, which among them are our three published works and workshopping that experience. So preparing to go out into the streets. So where do you live? Uh, if you don't want to say, you don't have to just say, you don't. what does that mean? Selling stuff. We published three books. The third book is really not a book. It's a deck of cards, but with a story. And we're doing a, also, I could show you, but I'm not going to, because I gotta get going. I'm a little bit late. I make music. I make music. Oh, in Germany. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy that you're not from the United States. Awesome. Hello, my friend in Germany. Yeah. The United States have a, I feel like they have a worse rep. Very, very deservedly so than uh, my fellow Germans. I'm a huge fan of uh, Werner Herzog and uh, Nosferatu and some of the 60s filmmakers from Germany. Germany is an amazing of innovation and I feel like they're disrespected just as our African ancestors from bullshit economics and cool. sup dude. Yeah. Well thanks man. And you and you can just like um I I just wanna point out there I don't want you to feel the need to like have to go with the whole journey for me. Uh, so you can just pop out at any time. That's what I like to do too for, for streams. The more streams, the better. You don't give a shit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking give a shit. Fucking unsubscribe. <laughs> Damn, I got to get closed more. Do you, do you make videos? Well, you don't have to answer that. I'll fucking, uh, oh, I will. Nice. Yeah. I'll check out your channel. Okay. Nope. Not yet. You know, 
each our own, our own process. Respect it. Oh, since I'm going out, I can play the harmonica. My cat hates the uh, harmonica. Yeah. Let's see this, baby. Let's see. Oh, do I have my wallet? Yeah, I have it right here. And see, I use my camel pack as the front. I think it's a uh, highly innovative. I live in Tucson. I'm from New Jersey. And I was in the military and then I rode my bike across the country. I uh, got to see a lot of the ocean in the Navy doing uh some nice tour uh, and with like all the ocean all around I wanted to like really dry out and challenge myself with the heat so living in the so it's beautiful and um right now it's probably the best time for Tucson in the winter time I'll shoot some uh show you some stuff around you probably won't be able to read your text if it's so bright out but yeah See some, uh, I got some tents for some fireworks coming up. Oh, I guess I'm going to walk with my clogs. I was thinking of walking with my uh, sneakers. Look, I, yeah, I got pretty excited. That, oh, shit, you're writing. I won't be able to read it. Love is okay. Looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay, but I can't read the, the screen. I don't have like a lot of equipment or anything. I'm not. I am a slacker. And, uh. Yeah, rock it out though, you know? I wonder if I brought another battery pack. I don't think I did. Just kind of rushed out. Well, let's just see how it goes, right? See some nice, uh, authentic Mexican food right there. And see some, oh, there it is. Wasteland of industry, commercialism. Suck it up. Bet you don't got those plants in Germany, out in the wild, or your commercial parking lots. I really, I you know, even though I can't read, I gotta say, E, I really appreciate that you just like respond, and you're, uh, and not insulting. Maybe because you're just not American. Yeah, it's a good thing. And I have a, a real love for Germany. My uh, my mother-in-law, she just broke her femur. She's just chilling. Yeah. You know what, I have, uh, I started getting into the Grateful Dead now. I watched this documentary about uh, Bob Weir, uh, the other one. And to understand the Grateful Dead is to understand who Neil Cassidy is. Neil Cassidy was uh, part of the Beats, but he didn't do much writing. It was more of a... Uh, in his performance of of talking about like being multi-dimensional and so this is before all of this conspiracy stuff this is back in the 50s and Jack Kerouac based the character um in his book on the road 
from Neil Cassidy. Neil Cassidy became the bus driver for the Merry Pranksters of the Magic Bus, where they did uh, electric acid tests because it was LSD was legal back then. And they had these gatherings, and but they didn't have music. Let's read this. Oh, shucks, I can't read it. Oh, shucks. I won't be able to read it with this. I would need another device because it comes up so fast. And then maybe if I can try to see. Yeah, here we go. Nah, man, no idea. Sure, I'm just chilling. Yeah, top live. All messages are visible. Yeah, here we go. Now, nah, man, no idea what you're saying. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> just speaking my words. Just speaking my words. I was thinking of trying to try and do a stand up. Maybe I'll try to do that. And uh, I'll gear it towards you. How about that? <sighs> okay. So this guy walks into a bar. He goes up to the bartender. Bartender says to him, Hello. Would you like to place an order? This guy, he says, You comedian? I'm trying. I'm trying to be comedian, and this is just right for you. Uh, this guy, he said, bartender, could I have some water? And this other guy at the bar, he gets up and said, order, what you need to do is follow the old world order and learn of the traditions so that you do not repeat them in the future. This guy gets interrupted by another guy sitting at the bar. He's like this hippie guy. He's like, no, man, you need to live in the now. Live in the now with the now world order all the past and the future are all within the present and this guy gets interrupted by this alien horn one-eyed sharp teeth reptilian who pops out and growls there's no escape from the new world order uh, and this guy, overwhelmed, just busts out a gun, starts shooting up the place and shooting him, and they keep coming back to life, and he screams out, No world order! No world order! <laughs> what would you like me to call you? I have to look at that. It's too too much light. Eric. Okay, Eric. 
I will call you Eric. I had this friend, Eric, in the Navy. He was from Norway. And he was like seven foot, seven foot something. And he had this really kind of high put voice. And I hung out with him because he was a weirdo. And uh, we liked art. So when we were in the Navy, then go to like clubs like uh, poetry readings and and uh, it was good times. We went to Spain, then uh, this couple at a bar. I don't I forget where they were from. Maybe Danish or something. And we hung out with them. And they had uh, roommates who were German. And, and so that, that's how I became aware of, like, how, you know, Germany became like the, what is it, like the gypsy. Kind of. I don't know, though, because I'm just this stupid American, though. You know, just going through my process. Live it while it's happening and you're ready to let go of it as it goes. My mom died uh, two years ago. She got surgery of, uh, of her of brain cancer and, and it didn't work out. Um, and she went into a coma and being your son, you know, this is, uh, the person that, uh, created me. It's like, uh, this person doesn't have a, a choice anymore. That choice is gone. And so now, no matter how, whatever happens, if there's a choice, if I still have the ability of a, of a choice, there still is that freedom. And that's, it's, uh, it's overwhelming to my mind to horse, an earth horse, like a Chinese uh, zodiac, earth horse. <sighs> I'm a Taurus on the cusp of the Aries. And Earth Force. And the Earth Horse are really, uh, they're kind of indecisive because they take it all in. I wonder if you hear the train in, in the background. Yeah. Oh, you're not watching anymore. Cool. See you, dude. It's good talking with you, Eric. Another closed down restaurant. Oh, it looks like you're watching again. Yeah. I don't want to put you on the spot.
What do you think? Domino's? Pizza Hut? We'll be passing the bridge to get to see under the bridge, the dry river. What I heard is that Mexico closed off the river. And back in the day, from conflict with the United States, Talked about your mom. 
Sorry. I missed some stuff. Oh, no problem, man. I was talking about, yeah, when she had the coma. Then, uh, that she wasn't have she didn't have the ability to choose. Yeah, it's live. I I had to check the time, and in order to do that, because I don't have a clock, I went off stream and got back right on. So it reconnected. kind of risky I guess but for the stream yesterday I watched uh, Ice Poseidon he went to uh, a Coca-Cola theme park and he uh, was videotaping and getting in trouble well he didn't get arrested and then he went to what was it, the Coco, then CNN, the news network. He's wandering in that building. And uh, he almost got arrested, or not arrested, but like kicked out. Um, but they left before that. And then they went to a mall and ate food and got stream sniped hardcore and then got kicked out they said the guy that was wearing a bathrobe was who was uh ice went with the bathroom but he had clothes on beneath it and uh the other guy didn't have many clothes on beneath it Yeah, so they got kicked out of the mall, and so, yeah, good times. I wonder if I should go this way. I could. Let's do it. I'll show you some weird plants. I have 30 minutes to walk, I would say, two miles. Thinking, ah, I should have took my, my foldable bike. Um, but this is how it went. So send it love. Just keep going with it. Werner Herzog, he said, for young filmmakers to read, 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 and walk. So he said for, so if you are aspiring to become a filmmaker in your own right, that is one of his tips. If you are aspiring to become Jake Paul, I suggest none of those. Send in love to Jake Paul. And uh, Logan also. Let, oh, let's see what we were saying. You were saying something. Let's see. Um, no way. You are an ICE sign fan? I am a fan. I am a fan of many things. And it's yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a joke. <laughs> uh, low gang hanging 
in the Japanese for rest. Okay. Pretty funny, huh? Yeah, it's just different kinds of poetry. And I'm the president of the nonprofit Sussex County Avant Garde. And it, it, it is that marginalized. Nope. <laughs> See, there's the lag time. It's probably like a minute or something like that of when I remember um, uh, trying to count the amount of time that it takes for someone to see the, the thing I sent up. It's kind of interesting. And so, I'm not sure. Let's see, are you? Unscuffed PD. Uh, <laughs> unscuffed PD. <laughs> unscuffed. Like Pete and Pete. Pete and Pete is this show where these two these two gingers um, are basically, yeah, <laughs> basically am unscuffed PD. <laughs> Yeah, there was this one guy, he was um he was Navajo Andy and he uh he stream sniped uh, Hampton Brandon just out of the blue and then he was like following him around with his skateboard and uh then he took up streaming for a little bit but then he uh he faded because he was all like Come on, give me money. I don't have a job. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and he started the stream. It was such an extraordinary scream. He he um but he he took them all down. But he where he started the stream was he was sleeping in the laundry room of his mom's apartment complex. And his stepfather comes in and says, You gotta get out of here. And that's how the stream started. And then, and then he did like probably a, maybe like a six hour stream or something, or it was, it was pretty long. And I was like, just do, just, just calm down. You need some water. He's out in, uh, in LA in the summer. Let's see what you wrote. Totally. Yes. Responding to, to, to that, yes. Totally. Every day. Good things. Every night, sis. Whoa, look at this crazy stuff. He's asked me to do some things. I'm not gonna do anything. Gotta get out of that. Dang it. Oh, I gotta do this. It's crazy. Dang, I can't get out of this thing. Oh, maybe that, that one. That's it. How did you know about him? Oh, it was like, this is at the time that Hampton Brandon was coming out of jail. And uh, so what was, oh, no, no, it was, I think it was like him back into it. Maybe it was before jail or after. I think, I think before jail. Yeah, before he went back to jail. And so he... He went off the Ice Poseidon RV 
then he went to I think Austin and I think Florida. It was ripping it up in Florida, then came back to LA. And I think that's where he got uh, caught. And um, so it was that that time. It was like a couple couple days or something like that. And then Navajo Andy started up his little stream, and he's not put up anything more. And I, I messaged him, messaged him. And he said, I, I'm going to need greater funds to then do live streaming. It's like this crazy snake eating its own head. I'm trying to get funds to live stream funds from live streaming. It's like, what is the just this uh, survival thing. I, uh, there's so much of that. I think uh, what I try to strive to do is more of a thrive. I hate words, man. But uh, strive, survive, thrive. And thriving, you're not surviving more of the blossom. Do you have any aspirations for life? My alien friend. I hope to uh, have my niece and nephews take over the nonprofit and for it to have substance in it also. Sure. Hmm. That's good to have goals. It's interesting how they shift also. What do you mean? Goals of uh, this life, you know, as we know it. I mean, uh, Plan to get married and have children. For myself, that's never been a goal. I think that also lets me be more open to to new things. Scuff PD. Yo, yo, I'm Scuff PD. I'm here to say I love Miracle Whip in a major way. Hope you take my shoe and put the soul in your mouth. And then you can chew it up. Walk down to the south. Southwest, that is. Yeah. Checkers white and black all moving across chest board where'd the red go red for ed wait oh, writing something let me read that here's some shit doesn't matter what other expects i guess it's just what you like what do you mean yeah what I didn't like when growing up was my father was like, I hope you get a Catholic, Irish wife and have a son who winds up to be just like you. And, and then if like, it's like, I'm not interested in kids. What are you, gay? <laughs> it's either one or the other instead of just like, oh, there was this, uh, I went selling the books at this comic book 
convention yesterday and this uh this girl who was uh in eighth grade she had a published work and her father was like supporting and i thought good good for her good for her of that that she gets that and not it wasn't so much like jealous but it was like just to get to see it happen just put me to tears put me to tears with this this young individual writing writing her first novel and she was uh, a little pony little pony culture person she's part she comes out from that and i think that's a real rich community also i'm not involved with it i'm not i'm not interested in my little pony um but i'm a i'm in the very end of the gen x the last year and so with my process in life what i see is like i saw that from records to tapes to cd's to mp3s and then just obliterated to infinity and i have i got to see that progression in the rapid time of um so that was a of growing up but i hmm i did immerse myself in cd's I remember, uh, and I've gotten rid of them, most of them. I had probably, probably a thousand, a thousand CDs. And I put a lot of them in my hard drive for this, uh, years back. My family in New Jersey called and, what are we going to do with all your stuff? So I went back and I just gave it all away and came back out here to live. It's uh, it's crazy when a parent dies or someone dies of that's like the glue to the whole family. And to see that like disintegrate too between my sisters is real heartbreaking, you know. It's like it's like a double death deal. And uh, so the, the house that she lived in was sold. And there was not an understanding uh, with my sisters. And it's, uh, yeah. So I live, though, how I live is without heating i have a little electric stove i take cold showers um when i muster up that energy and i usually last under a minute i use oils essential oils and um i i learned of uh, what the romans would do is uh, They'd scrape their bodies with oil and and then they'd sell that uh, what was left over to, um, to f- females because it has all the pheromones of the, of the man. They had a different way of living and I'm totally into thriftiness. We're coming up on, oh, I'll look at this, what you wrote. Back, oh, 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 cool. What's cool is like, I was unaware of that. And uh, so I'm just driving. What's nice about YouTube 
rather than Twitch, is that they always get saved and it doesn't leave the face of the earth within 30 days. I feel like these uh, these streams are one-time experiences and, and improvisation, and uh, I'm a big fan of that. If you like improvisation, you might like John Zorn, Derek Bailey, in music format. So... It's the risk in um, that element and the improvisation that attracts me to live streaming. <sighs> what attracted you to live streaming? How did you... Uh, uh, I can't remember how I got kind of involved with it. Oh, I remember just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cop block. When they'd film cops. Uh, and they'd say, we're, uh, we're right now, we're on... On Facebook, and how you could just put it right up instead of having to deal with editing. Because editing uh, is like this whole other process. And if you want to be more into um, performing, then it changes up. Of Did you do any Twitch gaming? I did uh, no only RIRL. But I, you know, I don't really go on it much. I think I only follow. Andy Melanakis, um, this uh, one streamer that just Ariel's Grotto, and she just smokes weed, and she doesn't do much gaming, but she's part of the gaming community, and she does do gaming. And uh, there was one gamer, but I was like, I like... Uh, I like watching Tic Tac Toe. I like. I don't see any gaming for Pic, uh, Pac Man, but that's my favorite game. And. Staples. Game Staples. And I don't like. Uh, killing games. I don't like games that. It, it's all there it is to do. It's just, but it, you, you know, you're killing the the Pac-Man and and tic-tac-toe is like really serious breaking friendships <laughs> kind of game. But and so it's a I do like watching um, sometimes, like Doctor Disrespect. Watching him play is pretty entertaining. Of how he trolls and stuff. I was just asking. I started watching Ice Poseidon about eight months ago. Okay. So I watched um, just a couple days ago uh, the official thing for Ice Poseidon. I thought it was really interesting of uh, seeing the series of events of how he, he took place and he was first doing like the, the roomscape, but then he was doing um, clickbait things that didn't exist. And I think it, it summarized it pretty well. It might have some timelines mixed up or who knows, but I was, uh, how they destroyed his business that he was a, a chef at. And when did I start? Eight months ago? About that. About that. Yeah, maybe it was uh, YouTube pushing it. Is it pushing against? Uh, do you watch Patty Mayo? Patty Mayo's uh, videos are now they're just completely absurd. But let him grow. Patty Mayo is um, the pseudo bounty hunter who also uh, repossession 
uh, investigation. And now he's acting as a sheriff. But it's just a show. Uh, a lot of YouTubers have went and dived into... But his stuff is entertaining, though. Uh, his, his stuff that was before I first saw. Agent Andy, yeah. Okay. Did you get to see the... What was it? 72 hours or... I forget how many hours he was in a room. And uh, you got... Did you get to be part of that for, for Asian Andy? See, I appreciate Asian Andy too. I think they're both a bunch of... Like... Their whole kind of take on... Uh, well, they're improvising. Improvising their take on like women and... They're all kind of real programmed into just like, it kind of seems kind of typical, uh, but, they, they, but they're successful. They're much more successful than I am or probably will ever be. Uh, we're like, I don't think I, I do it illegally of just going into places and, but I do it really less risk and not shoving a camera in, in people's faces. I avoid people. I think that's a huge strength of, of stealth. Uh, since the bike trip, I had a, a heat stroke. I have Lyme's disease. And yeah, that's the, that's the best strength of like stealth words and uh, and then you can get them real good easily because you punch them in the throat and they will never catch you like the wind out of them. any big guy you ever get into uh, watching uh Conspiracy stuff? Yes. Of their own approach, yeah. And there's no right way. There's no right way of their own approach because it's just... It, it, we're just living. I remember, like, because I, I brought was brought up uh, Catholic. And so, like, there's, like, the good and the bad. And I remember... Um, Kind of, kind of was court in, I guess you could, like seeing this girl, talking with her on the phone for a long time, and back in high school, and she, she said, we could be just all part of this one mass, and it's all just kind of melt in together, and and I thought that was too easy, of. Uh, well, that's what life is. It has to be, has to be harder. The tough part, too, it could be though, the acceptance of it. Hey, thanks for liking the video. Appreciate it. Yeah, for like um the nonprofit, we do a lot of things kind of like under the radar tax avoidance and it's, it's completely legal let's run across the street okay show you some parking lot going into university university of arizona wow you're an enlightened soul man eric it's nice meeting you Are you 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 78, 79, 80
Life is not complicated. Yeah, totally. If we make it complicated. <laughs> oh, I got low battery. Even though it's, uh, I had the battery pack, I guess it's not charging properly. Well, I'm gonna try to at least show you the gallery. Nice ending the dream. I'm almost there. Just a couple more blocks. Right. So this is a. Uh, oh, I didn't get to show you too much of Fourth uh, Avenue. It's like a kind of hippie hub in Tucson, and this is University, uh, the street. There's a streetcar. That's a new innovation that uh, is really futile, and it's distance around. Tucson, but they have to abide by it because of this tax thing. They got granted some money and they had to use it or go away. And then a bunch of money was embezzled. So it's a whole bunch of controversy. Yeah. So this is a, we're all like, it's Sunday morning so there's not a lot of university students but this is the place of their gatherings outside of the university because that's the university right there see this is Arizona and that's the decoration for Christmas huh what is it at 11? Am I late? Okay. Uh oh. Did I bring that? I think I did. I might not have. Hmm. Well, this is it here. I have to fish out the key. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna, well, I'll just do this thing. See if I can get this stuff done. See how it goes. Just let the thing die, right? Let the battery die. So it can
Okay. Okay. Wait, so he must be here. So this is the, the new work that we have here. So Pete must be here. So this is like a comet. Here's the second one. <laughs> Still rolling. <laughs> Won't get high, so high. Wanna be high, so high. Let's see. Is there one more back here? No. The lights are on over here. Maybe somebody's in there. Let's not disturb. Do that alone. They said they, they got a noise complaint. So then we can't play music in here. I do have my little harmonica. I could play that. Okay, let's get stuff situated. Oh, this is great. This would be great to use. Jeez. Eric, I think I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Eric, I think I'm going to have to let you go. I have to... Or does he have a... Is there a phone here? I don't see a phone here. I get myself situated. Yeah, I wonder. What's that? Wanna be offended? Do you wanna be offended? Oh, So your hard work. These are ours. We're going to be selling on Epsi soon. This is all the other collective here. $15 for a notebook.
some more harmonica is robust. <laughs> Low battery and All right, I'm gonna go charge this thing. I, I really appreciate you. Okay. So hope you have a nice day. Bye.